Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's talk about the Cai Dong, the Chinese chef's knife, or be called the Chinese cleaver knife. When you watch videos of movies, there are some video clips about cooking Chinese food. I don't know if you have noticed a kind of knife in there, just like the videos of Chef Wang Gang and the videos of the channel made with low. It just seems to be a big piece of steel with a wooden blade grip. Usually, this kind of knife looks like a little aggressive style. However, if we try to compare with the tuna knife of Japan, Chinese chef's knife likely have gotten more friendly. In Chinese cooking area, there is a saying, Yi ba dao zou tian xia, which means you can use one chef's knife to cook everything food, you can chop, cut, slice, smash, etc. Not only the vegetables but the meat or fish, if a Chinese food cook can cook a perfect and beautiful meal, you can must have an amazing knife skill. But actually, this is true, but not 100% correct. The really true part is that a normal person, just like the scene, the Chinese mom cooks dinner at home, really is able to use just one knife to cook most of food. But a professional cook will meet many different situations. Just like the meat with a big and hard bone, you need to slice the Beijing roast duck, or need to slice very thin food pieces. So who needs a corresponding knife to handle the different cooking things? Meanwhile, those different Chinese Cai Dao have their own functions and characteristics, just like the European cooking knives. Although some of the Chinese style knives look similar, so now let's watch those different types of Chinese Cai Dao. First is the Qie Pian Dao, or be called Pian Dao. Qie Pian means cut or slice something, and Dao means knife. And just like its name, this knife is a kind of knife that focuses on cutting food. At this time, we can notice another knife in the Chinese cooking knives. It also has a similar cutting function, and its shape also has not very different with Qie Pian Dao. It's just like its brother. This is a Sang Dao. But about its name, there are two kinds of folklore of the Sang Dao name origin. The first one is because, at first for the ancient Chinese silkworm farmers, this knife was used to cut the mulberry leaves in order to serve as food for the silkworms, and they produced the Chinese silk by those silkworms. Because the mulberry leaves, Chinese name is Sang Yi, so the knife was named Sang Dao, and gradually, after many years, it was not only for the silkworm farmers, but also was a knife as the Chinese cooks from the Asian China until now. Then another story is about a woman from China in the 19th century who is the Paris daughter, Ci Xi, and also she is the real dominator of the Qing at that time. In this story, at first Sang Dao wasn't Sang Dao, but was called Ye Dao. Coincidentally, Ci Xi's family name is Yiknara which is a Manchu language name. But when the name was translated to Chinese language, this name was Ye He Na La, and the first character is the same with Ye Dao. So it was identified as a kind of bad luck. Finally, in the time that impressed power is the most supreme than anyone, than anything, Ye Dao had to rename to Song Dao. Nowadays, Sang Dao is a popular cooking knife to cut food in kitchen. Many of Sang Dao was also looked like longer than Qie Pian Dao. Usually, Sang Dao is thinner than Qie Pian Dao. Plus, the cross section of many Sang Dao is V-shaped, and this shape is more useful to slice a piece of vegetable or meat very, very thin. However, both knives are too thin, so their weakness is very obvious, which is that both knives can split the hard bone. If you split the bone with Qie Pian Dao and Sang Dao, most probably the blade edge can be broken. The next is Zhang Gu Dao. Zhang means split, Gu means bone. 
Dong means knife. This is a kind of a clever knife designed to split bone. It is obvious that this kind of knife is heavier and thicker. In particular, the head of the knife is bigger in order to balance the weight when chopping down the knife to cutting something. In fact, there is another knife, Jiu Jiang Dao. Jiu Jiang is a city in Jiangxi. This knife has almost the same shape with Zhang Gu Dao, and its function also is to supply the bone. This is the same with Zhang Gu Dao, so sometimes Jiu Jiang Dao also was identified as another name of Zhang Gu Dao. Then, it's Shao La Dao. This knife is from Canton, although this is a knife used to deal with the meat with bone. This kind of knife is designed to cut Shao La. Shao La is a difficult Cantonese style food, and usually, it is made from roasted entire chicken, duck, goose, etc. So in order to let the customers eat more convenience, the cook used it to split it into many small pieces. Shou La Dao really is a cut bone as well, but usually, the bone which is cut by Shou La Dao is a smaller bone. Mainly, the bone is just like the chicken or the duck bone. Now, this knife is a generalist, so that means this knife has not only one function, but it may not have too many functions. Actually, it can do two things, which is the job of Tie Pian Dao and the job of Zhang Gu Dao. In Chinese language, Tie Pian Dao has a nickname, it's Wen Dao, which means a knife can do the careful job. Comparably, Zhang Gu Dao also is called by Wu Dao, which means a knife can do simply root job, just like the thing that the splits the bone hard. So when mix both knives features, there will be a knife which can do one job and the wu job. A knife not only can slice and cut food, but also can split the bone. Usually, the secret of wen wu dao, which can do both the cutting jobs, is on the edge of knife. Except the Wen Wu Dao, almost all kind of knives age has the same thickness, but for the Wen Wu Dao, its front half of age is thinner than the back half of age. The front half age thickness is the same with Tie Pian Dao, and the back half is just like the Zhang Gu Dao. So finally, Wen Wu Dao has two different usage and becomes a generalist in the Chinese cooking knives world. But compared with Tie Pian Dao and Zhang Gu Dao, Wen Wu Dao is only a generalist, but not a master in one special working area. The last part is some knives which do some special jobs, just like the Beijing Rosa duck knife, Kao Ya Dao. The knife was needed to cut duck meat. This is a very careful job. And there is another slicing knife. This is T Dao. It is used to divide the meat into primal cuts. And then, this is Pai Pi Dao. Pai Pi means making dumpling wrappers. And Dao is knife. So, according to the name, we can know that this knife was designed to make dumpling wrappers. And the special point of this knife is that. This is only one knife without the knife edge. The last knife that I'm going to share in today's video looks like a very aggressive knife, which has a sharp knife point and has a big edge and body. That is a zhu rou dao, the poke knife. Just like the knife shape, this is used to dispose a poke from the pig. Especially in the old time, without the automatic poke factory, those tu hu, which means Butcher. Usually, they use this knife to split and cut the pork and do a series of jobs about making pork from pig. Overall, those four knives are not really the knife in the kitchen, mainly only when those workers or cooks need to do the special jobs where well, they use those knives. Finally, it's a grip and tan, but in fact, Tai Dao. Just like those other common knives, even the ancient fighting swords, they are almost the same, just like this picture. Cai Dao also has those different types, full tan, half tan, etc. 
Okay, now this is today's story. I hope you like this video. Have a good day. See you next time. Thank、you